Chairman to uh, the ranking member, uh, thank you for your comments as well. As already been stated, the HR 306 would provide for a new public-private management plan for the free roaming Corolla wild horses of North Carolina's Outer Banks at no cost to our taxpayers. The Corolla horses are colonial Spanish mustangs that can be traced back to the arrival of Spanish explorers on the Outer Banks in the 16th century. They survive in the wild for over 400 years and roam across 7,500 acres of public and private land in coastal Currituck County, North Carolina. Under the existing management agreement between the Interior Department, the state of North Carolina, Currituck County, and the nonprofit Corolla Wild Horse Fund, the maximum number of horses allowed in the herd is 60. Equine genetic scientists believe the number 60 threatens the herd's existence due to high levels of inbreeding and low levels of genetic diversity. To address this issue, HR 306 would require a new management plan to allow a herd of no less than 110 horses and no more than 130 horses. 110 is the minimum number that leading equine genetic scientist Dr. Gus Cawthram of Texas A&M University has found to be necessary to maintain the herd's genetic viability. It's important to note that these numbers are well within the carrying capacity of the land these horses call home. To improve the herd's genetics, the bill would allow for limited introduction of wild horses from the related herd at Cape Lookout National Seashore. I'd like to emphasize that H.R. 306 requires the Corolla Wild Horse Fund, not the federal government, to pay for managing the herds. The th fund is a thriving nonprofit with an annual budget of over $400,000 that is growing each and every year. They already pay the cost of managing the horses and they will continue to do so under this bill. Confirming this point, the CBO scored on H.R. 306 found that the federal government would incur no significant additional cost to manage or mitigate the effects of horses on the refuge. H.R. 306 is similar to another bipartisan bill that was made reference to a while ago that I offered to create a public-private partnership to save the wild horses uh, of Shackville Banks and Cape Lookout National Seashore. That legislation passed by the Republican House in 1998 and was signed into law by President Bill Clinton, and I want to at this time acknowledge for the record that his Chief of Staff, Erskine Bowles, was instrumental in that bill becoming law. Mr. Speaker, the Corolla Wild Horses are a key part of North Carolina's heritage and an important element of the Outer Banks economy. In fact, they're the North Carolina State Horse. H.R. 306 has broad bipartisan support, and I want to thank both parties for that support. Among others, it is supported by the North Carolina Governor, Beverly Perdue, Currituck County, and the local community, the Corolla Wild Horse Fund, the Humane Society, the American Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, the Animal Welfare Institute, and the Foundation for Shackleford Horses. Mr. Speaker, in closing, I make reference to these posters. Uh, these horses have their own uh, heritage, as you can well see. They're absolutely wonderful, beautiful animals. And many times on the coast of North Carolina, when these horses are standing in the ocean with their foal, you will see those tourists come up right to the horse and to the foal and pet them. Uh, these horses are part of our heritage and thank both parties for passing this bill today. I hope that we will pass this bill today and I thank both sides uh, for this time and I will yield back the balance of my time. Gentlemen, yield back the balance of his time. Gentleman from the Northern Mariana Islands. Mr. Speaker, um, if I may inquire from the other side if they have any further speakers. The gentleman uh, yield back. I'm prepared to yield back. 